Robin's energy was something that we wanted to capture, but at the same time, his comedy, it's not like Richard Pryor where he's telling one story. Robin's comedy was kind of all over the place in a good way, but it's hard as a filmmaker to try to get those little nuggets and we found them, but it, it took time. If somebody asked me, what's your favorite bit of footage you got? There's so many different things. I love the Juilliard period because for him as kind of an only child who really found his creativity in being alone and playing in his head, for him to have the, uh, the luxury of going to Juilliard and, and kind of honing, you know, becoming an artist. I love to see the, the, the moment in someone's life when there's hope. And at that time, you know, it's like the world was his, his uh, oyster. David Steinberg's assistant was like, oh my God, you kept after me for those voicemails. And that's like my job is like, what's going on with the voicemails? What's going on? I, I didn't even know if he really had them. Then it was like Billy needed to get his tech person. And it's like, oh my God, there was like, I lost all the, you know, I didn't know we were going to get them. When we got them, <laughs> it was just pure magic. And there was something so beautiful about their friendship. Um, the Billy interview in particular to me was, it was like he was mourning Robin as one would in the interview. I, I feel like you see a side of Billy Crystal that, that you don't normally see. The outtakes, you know. I mean, we interviewed Pam Dauber and she was like, you know, I have the outtakes. We were like, you know, you, you always act cool about it. You don't want to get too excited. <laughs> oh, really? You have the outtakes. Interesting. Oh, could we maybe like go to your house and <laughs> get those? <laughs> well, go I'll follow you right now. <laughs> so my producer went and got them and we were just like, oh, I mean, it's magic. It's pure magic because it's really like Robin. It's a laborious project. <laughs> it's a laborious process. But um, coming to a place like Sundance, which I've been coming to for many years, um, when IndieWire first started, I was here. Um, so I have a long history with IndieWire, but coming to Sundance, I mean, sitting in that room this morning with an audience, to hear the laughs, to hear just people so emotional. I had a woman come up to me at the screening this morning and say, I just wanna thank you um, my mother has Parkinson's and she keeps telling me that she's not who she used to be. And I, I didn't understand that and now I do. And I was just like, we can celebrate this guy. We can like move people, make people laugh and make people understand what other people are going through. I don't know, I'm happy.